In the previous episode, we got absolutely humiliated by Derok. If you haven't already seen that video, I would highly recommend you give that a watch. Before we start off this episode, huge shout out to the channel supporters. Thank you so much for the generosity. Yo, I just got a mossy key. That's a log slot. Oh my god, I just got an ancient chart. This task is a gold mine. That's another collection log slot. We ended last episode with over 100 collection log slots filled. And we only have 78 quest points. So in this episode, we gotta catch up on the quests. Now, I haven't given that much th thought to all of the quests I will be doing. But eventually I'll want all of them done, done anyways, right? I'll try to pick and choose the most beneficial ones to us now, but maybe there's a few useless ones along the way. There's the first quest done, Fermanic Trial. Oh, there's actually three quest points. All right. Do we get any levels? 35 fletching. And that's it. And there we have it. The Fermanic Isles quest. Look at that helm. It is beautiful. Can you stop talking so I could... Yes. Look at that. Oh, I cannot wear it. This was one of those where I don't know if it's that beneficial. I think we can now get dragon tasks, which is not that great. So maybe I shouldn't have actually done that. But that got us some defense XP. Worth it? Question mark? The giant dwarf complete. This is required for a lot of quests. Ooh, 50 mining as well. This is required for a lot of quests. So this was pretty, pretty good to get out of the way. Death to the Dorgshun complete. We can now access Dorgish Khan. The reason I did this quest is because I want to unlock Tears of Gothix. Another slice of ham complete. And there's Tears of Gothix. Nice and easy. That was such a short game of Tears of Gothix, but I am really happy we have this unlocked now. I just gotta remember to do it weekly. One to six room crafting. That is actually not as good as I expected. Working ahead here. This is required for the quest for cave horrors so there is pirate's treasure this one is also needed for cave horrors zogre flesh eaters done that should give me some herb lore xp nice there is a death plateau done some attack xp and i can get myself climbing boots and there is shield of rob i don't know why this quest confuses me but that is needed for hero's quest there is merlin's crystal also required for hero's quest 100 quest points. Ah, uh, we only have like five more available to us. Could this be a collection log slot? Please give me an outfit piece. <gasps> Zombie boots. Yes, it is. 107. All right. So this is that is actually one of the only random events we are missing. That and the mime one. I'm sorry. I got two pieces from that. <laughs> I mean, thank you, I guess. I did not know that that can happen. There is Holy Grail, had to do it, so good prayer and defense XP. There is 47 prayer, 46 defense. And there is Hero's Quest, a lot of XP to a variety of skills, and one quest point. We can now buy the Dragon Battle Axe, which I actually kind of want, but yeah, not with that cash tag. Oh my goodness gracious, I was playing some Rocket League and we just got the Baronet Handle. I don't have to fish anymore. I can go back to mining. This was just more AFK, so I chose to do this. No way, I just got that. Big bass. We got a bit lucky there. We started this with 427 bass. And we now have 789, so that's 362 bass we had to catch, and this is a 1 in 1k. Now, I don't think this was something really AFK for me to do. I don't think I'm going to go for the big swordfish yet, because the catch rate at 67 fishing feels awful. It's probably really bad. Tower of Life completed. Now, why would you do this quest? Let me tell you. Collection log has creature creation. Seven slots in here. Weird items. Very weird. This should be quite easy slots. Hmm. I told you. There's the first one. Ooh, tea flask. Yes, there's another one. That is four out of seven. Yay, that is 
5 out of 7. Yes, on the first one. Gold Satchel. <gasps> there it is, the last one. That was actually a quite easy section completion. We now have 116 slots filled. In search of my read complete, we now have that shortcut to the Morton for Barrows. Missed the quest completion because my microphone had disconnected for some reason, but I was away for like four days, but I'm getting back at it. We just finished in eight of the Myreek. There is some attack XP. We are one attack XP quest away from getting our defender. I need 34 herb lore for the next quest, so I decided I would do the Edgar's Ruse quest, but that requires 31 herb lore, so there it is. We have completed... Troll, troll Stronghold, now we need to do Edgar's Ruse. Pretty huge quest this one, 11k Herblor XP, we can now tell it to Trollheim. How much will that get us? Will that get us? Okay, we needed 34, we got 36, beautiful. There is Taibu one Eye Trio completed, 113 quest points. Let's go claim the other rewards. There's the combat XP, and hey, he gave me a Rune Spear. We have 65 attack, 65 strength, we can now enter the Warrior's Guild. 75 combat, meaning we can do Konar Slayer once we get into that. I think it is time to take a break from questing and head to the Warrior's Guild. First one only took 70 tokens. Iron Defender. And then we got Steel. What happened here? I was AFK. We got a long bone. That is actually a collection log slide. Look at that. Black Mithril Adamant. And there's the rune one. Also, we had 55 defense. I can now wear this beauty. Look at it. No more rune full helm. This is this is starting to look like an actual combat gear. What? Curved bone. That's another collection log slot. No way. There is the Dragon Defender. Pretty unfortunate, we cannot even use it yet, we need 60 defense for it. Almost completely forgot about the best part about this, we got a total of 10 new slots for the collection like We finished the Cyclops, and I think in the miscellaneous we have, yeah, the curved bone and the long bone. That is, that is a huge jump. Let's try to get that 60 defense through Slayer. First task from, from Konar, please be something good. Fighter Giants, you know what? It could have been much worse. Alright, I managed to complete that task. Now I got three prim Brimstone Keys. There's actually, I think, five... No, there's more. Six uh, collection like slots in this chest. But I'm really looking for money because we need 200k for a Dragon Battle Axe. So, sea turtle, okay, sharks, really? We needed those, yes, because we were rocking the mithril plate legs, that is an upgrade. We also got our fifth mystery box, could it be? Yes, a steel plate buddy. Could we be rewarded with some zombie outfit pieces? <gasps> You are spoiling me. We got two, and we are finished with the whole zombie outfit. All we are missing now is the mime. That is beautiful. Lovely Tears of Gothics run. How much XP will we get? It's probably not that much. Well, it's 12 room crafting. And here we have it. Calfight task, 60 defense. The account is looking mighty fine. Only thing really bothering me right now are these mithril gloves. We still have a lot of collection lock slots to unlock before we can unlock Barrow's gloves. So that is exactly what we'll keep on working on in the next episode.